Well, it's beginning to take shape and it's beginning to be evident. It's no longer a smoking gun in my point of view. I have done an extensive editing on my latest video, this Tonga eruption, the smoking gun. And I have, yeah, you have to got to see that. So Stevie C says, it sounds like the space shuttle sonic boom upon re-entry. I wouldn't rule that asteroid impact out. And Daryl Calhoun, who actually got me started. So I just heard it was the second explosion today. Hmm. Huh. Thanks for your videos, Henning. And then Barbara Wilson saying uh, sorry for her comment is so long-winded, but nevertheless, what you just brought here to the table pretty much uh, lines up with what I have done in my editing. So she's saying, yep, at 1.35, it's a bomb, all right. I thought so yesterday after observing the images of it on your like for on the world video, but I didn't comment because my fault. I was just suspicious hunts. Uh, when I saw your reply to a viewer who had the same thought, that you to take a look at it. I knew you would do a follow up video after close examination and methodically confirm or disqualify our respective suspicions. China did it. Inning. Uh, Xi Jinping, bastard. Communist bastard. It was a test warning. China's hypersonic nuclear missile system fly into orbit carrying hypersonic weapons that is five times the speed of sound and reportedly consolidating its nuclear triad of bombers, submarines, ICBMs, and exploring new exotic nuclear systems. And in look up Tonga's unpaid debt to China and the South Pacific islands in general, including Australia and New Zealand, an example of Tonga's owes China nearly two-thirds of its GDP. That's a lot. Anyway, it's great reporting and presentation. And Henning, sorry for my comment, it's so long-winded. And on, I think there is a, uh, Charles O'Quinn says, I believe the ones used in Bikini Island was the same size as the big boy. Yeah, that might be possible, and I wouldn't rule that out. Absolutely not, because they had a similar bomb, and they needed to see how effective it was in uh, water. And Andrew Muskin says um, to me, and he's also one that... I believe he's been my sub for a long time. Don't know how long. Well, he can inform me of that. He says, at 4.15, at 1 o'clock, look at the long, thin cloud that's not moving with all the other clouds. Looks like it came from a sub or a ship, headed right to where the explosion will happen. Dives into the water, making visible trail underwater, then boom. And Andrew, spot on. And I got it zoomed in. And there's no question, but actually, I have two, two things here on that. So, here's the video, and it's without sound. But I'm going to see if I can comment on it. Meanwhile, I think the first clip is in normal speed. You see that right there? You see that? It disappears, and then the boom comes. Now it's slowed down, I think it's 75%, but you can see it right there, it disappears. That's a submarine. It can't be a ship, it's a sub. Look at it, and then boom. Now here, look closer. If you follow over here, something is going on here on the flank. This is the trail that is not moving with the clouds. All the clouds are moving from left to right. This one is not. This one is moving, you would say, southwest. So look closely. Now it disappears under the water there, and then boom. Correct? Spot on. That's, that's evident right there. Look at it. 
but I want you to pay attention to something else that is happening here. I think we got one more clip of it. There. If you look over here, this is here where the detonation takes place. This is where there is a vessel of sorts. I believe it's a vessel. I, think, I believe it's a sub. But over here, I want you to pay attention. There's something flying coming in. Look, over there. You see that? Right there. Coming through. Boom. Right there. No question. Something is flying in the air, following into exact epicenter. Look, that is. Follow, follow through the cloud there. Boom. Exact same spot. It ends there where the destination takes place. So let me stop it for a second. I cannot tell you whether this is a hypersonic missile or it's a cruise missile. I cannot tell you what it is, but I can assure you something is flying alongside. Maybe this, uh, what is going on here, it could be, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe this is a submarine. And prior to approach to Tonga Island right here, it has already fired a missile. It's followed along to ensure that the missile is doing what is expected it to do. And it can see that it is dead on, it is locked on target, and then it dives in and the missile is doing its job. I can't tell you that, but that's kind of, that would make sense that they would follow suit with it as long as it is safe to do so. And they dive into the waters just prior to the detonation. This is evident. This is evidence right here. This is actually holding up in court. Something is going on here and it's visible. I just wish that this uh, was a little higher quality, but it is what it is. I can't make it sharper. Unfortunately, my uh, Camtasia that I'm using for making my videos, it doesn't offer me uh, color uh, manipulations and, you know, embossing something. It don't allow that, unfortunately not. So I can't use any filters to make something stand out. So you will just have to rely on your lying eyes and see what's going on. And it's evident that there's something going on here. See that? It's follow there and there. Exactly there, it dives in, disappears, and then the boom. Look at the expansion speed, and this is slowed down to, I think it's 40% normal speed. Now, even closer, see it out here. Here it comes. There, it's right there. See that? Boom. There's something in the air. Do it again. I did many copies and paste, and I just wanted to have something to play with. But look, there it is. Going through the clouds, coming out on the other side right there. Boom, right there. Right on target. Let's see again. Let's see if I got it nailed down. I hope so. Halfway through. Here's another sequence, same one, but you can see that there's something flying here, going in that direction, and right there, boom. So, my initial thought when I saw uh, satellite images, um, I would say I just knew. Like I said in my first video, I could feel it on my P that this is a nuclear detonation. This is not a volcanic eruption. This is impossible. Look at the speed it expands with. And as I explained to you, that the mushroom cloud, depending on the yield, expands from four to seven, even more, depending on the yield. Like 
the SAR bomb in Russia, that one was, <laughs> let's just say, devastating bomb. And that mushroom cloud, I don't know how big it was, but it definitely expanded over five, 15 kilometers in one second because the yield was so tremendous. So let's just take it one more time. Zooming in. Now follow there. That is. There, 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 coming out, boom. And that one has submerged just prior to the impact. So they were monitoring the, the uh, I, I suspect that this, this is a cruise missile. Or maybe, uh, maybe they have a nuclear device, which is a bunker buster that it actually went into the caldera, deep in the ground, and then set it off. There's another thing is, well, before we go with the fantastic images here, here it goes. Chonga asked China to restructure heavy debt loan uh, load. Sydney Reuters, the Pacific island, of, uh, island nation of Tonga has asked Beijing to reconstruct uh, its last bilateral debt loan load, the government said on first day, this is an article from July 23rd, 2020. So the Chinese uh, communist regime uh, have had a lot of time to plan uh, a decisive strike. And as I said, United States of America did the same to Japan with the tsunami in 2011 on 11th of March. Japan did not want to pay America any dimes in form of assets such as America can come over and own a piece of land or real estate in Japan. Japan is a sovereign country and I'm sorry, America, keep your freaking ass away. You got no right. I don't give a flying F. Who do you think you are? It's their land. You can't come and take anything. It's a sovereign country. But I guess the New World Order, you know, they don't care about sovereignty. To them, they're like clouds. They have no borders. They just float around. And that is what the New World Order do. If you don't follow suit, they will kill you. They will punish you in any form or fashion they see fit. And in this case, I believe China has said to Tonga, sent them a shot over the bow. Okay, you don't want to pay? Watch this, right? Just like gangsters. You will be ashamed if you... Uh, you, you need to pay us some um, protection money. And the store owners say, no, I don't want to do that. And before the gangsters leave the store, they say to uh, the owner of the shop, it would be a shame to see this place burn down and a couple of days later, his store is on fire. That's how they operate, gangsters. In the New World Orders, people, all of these psychopaths, they're nothing but gangsters. And we are the 99%. They're only 1%. And in reality, you could finish them in a week. All of them. And go back to normal. Not a new normal, but normal. If you get my point. That was a long speech. So Tonga is one of the biggest Chinese debtors in the South Pacific with its financial reliance dating back to loans taken more than a decade ago to rebuild its capital, Nuku Alofa, after riots. <laughs> the small economy largely depend on external aid and remittances from Tonga's living abroad since has taken out additional loans. Tonga is due to uh, make small principal repayment to the Export-Import Bank of China this financial year before the schedule ramps up to 2023-24. When will it need to set aside 15% rent of you to service external debts? Government is putting in place a strategy to prepare for future payments of these exim loans, which 
noting that it has further requests to a restructure of both loans, the government said in a budget statement. Tonga's government did not respond to questions. Two sources with knowledge of its financial position told Reuters it had asked for debt to be cancelled, but had yet to receive Beijing's response. A foreign ministry in Beijing did not immediately respond to a request for comments. Tonga has previously got uh, uh, reprieves on the timing of principal repayments. Thought the debt has remained outstanding. Its total external debt stands at $186 million, which is almost two-thirds owned to China. The budget statement shows. I mean, hey, Bill Gates, you got lots of money. Why don't you just do that for them, right? Put your money to good use instead of creating something that kills people worldwide, right? Bill Gates, you psychopath. The United States and its Western allies worry that China is using debt to secure influence over strategically located Pacific Islands claims China has repeatedly denied. Now, I had a, uh, went on a Jason A channel and watched his uh, report regarding this volcano. You know, you know what I mean with the two fingers? Um, at LB4, two on each hand. Um, I'm, I put in a link to my video and I can't remember his name, but he said that it is quite possible that China did it to create an artificial island for a strategically advantaged uh, point against, you know, Australia, New Zealand, and of course, United States of America. Like there is these uh, skirmish going on at the Spratly Islands in the South China Sea, which China claims they have the ownership of, which they do not. They belong to, I think it's Taiwan, but you know, China is going to take Taiwan one way or the other. They don't care. They don't ask. And America with this farting, pooping guy in office, he's definitely not going to muster any balls or anything to say to China, you can't do this. Sorry. But China be glad I'm not president because I'll just say to China, you know what? I know we owe you a lot of money. You're going to get your money back. But from now on, we don't want any of your goods. You stay over there and you remain over there. And we don't want to deal with you anymore until you stop being communist, until you stop your slave trade and make goods to the rest of the world, including us. When you set your people free and stop being communist and return to a country that you once were, then we can talk. Until then, put up and shut up. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And reality is, people, if we boycott purchases, from anything made in China or PRC, if it says that on the label, made in PRC, that means the People's Republic of China. And it's funny, they say the People's Republic. The people don't have a damn thing. They don't have anything. Less food to put in their mouths. And that's why China, as an example, is expanding its uh, market and buying up real estate elsewhere in order to feed their hungry mouths. And of course, get a hold of resources, which I think is the primary. That's the kind of uh, thing we're dealing with. And unfortunately, we have communists sitting in the White House and in Washington, which is frantically working together and accepting everything that this disgusting creep Xi Jinping is putting on the plate. They wouldn't do with me as a president. They would be bye-bye. There would be no ships from China porting in California. Period. They would not be allowed to, to port. 
it would be shipped right back. Right back. And if California would say, well, okay, we are going to override this, well, California, you're no part of the union anymore. Bye-bye. You're gone. You're on your own. And then you can learn what it means. So in February, the International Monetary Fund said that despite the recent prudent ma management, Tonga's risk of external debt distress was high due to past borrowing. With no confirmed coronavirus infections, Tonga has been easing internal controls, uh, though travel restrictions around the world have devastated the tourism industry in the Pacific. Most money is coming into Tonga at the moment is through remittance, said Simana Kami, owner of the Ohole uh, Beach Resort, adding that most of his customers arrived on the cruise ship or via international flights. Those without relatives earning an income overseas are suffering. He told Reuters by telephone, we are open, but we are not break even. It's sad, but we are an empty paradise. There you go. So, let's go back to this crap here, because there's no question, this is an attack, and I believe it's coming from China, forcing or telling Tonga, pay up or worse. Let's run it. That is again, see it? Right there. Right there, coming out now, boom, right there. So I don't know if this missile is coming from an angle, flying down, or is flying horizontal with the, uh, unfortunately, I can't see that, that perspective. And here we go again, follow there, there, going under the cloud, it's right there. Right there, and here you have the vessel. And right here, you see the vessel disappears from the surface. So they are actually filming the entire sequence before they submerge. So apparently they are so psychopathic, they would like to see their own destruction that they have caused. So they got it on tape now. We need to catch some Chinese insiders and put them in a chair with zip ties and pluck their nails and teeth out until they spill the beans. Because this is not an attack. This is a nuclear detonation. This is an attack on a sovereign nation. There is no question. It's right there in front of you. It is right there. The evidence is right there. And I mean, honestly, <coughs> you have to be a psychopath in order to let something like this slide. Meaning that people working in the social media industry, big tech, is comprised of a bunch of psychopaths, of all their censoring of vital information But seen from a Christian perspective, I believe that the so-called Antichrist is already running the show. He's just not public yet. He's running the entire show. And look at all this weird stuff. And here we go again. Right here, you see it clearly. It's, it's almost like this image here, it's, it's standing out further. You see it right there. Boom. Correct. And another again. You see this one disappears in the water. Whoop, gone. That's a submarine. Ships don't do that. And then we got the other angle here where you can clearly see it's a mushroom cloud. That is not a volcanic eruption, period, people. 
Look closely. This is slowed down and zoomed in heavy. Watch it. Jeez. You get me now? So, I hate to say it. I told you so yesterday. This is a nuclear bomb. The evidence is speaks for itself. And I zoomed out, but slowed down a lot. See that? That's a mushroom cloud. Right there. Right in your face. Let's look at it again. Boom. Look at the concentric shape it has. Look again. Perfect circle. Perfect. Perfect. That's a nuclear bomb, people. This is an attack on a sovereign nation. This is absurd. Now I'm going to just run the movie for the next five minutes. You can just, you know, without me pointing, see if you spot something that I didn't see and others didn't see, but there's no question there. There's something flying next to the submarine. Right down. Interesting. It honestly pisses me off seeing this. It makes me really mad. Good job, China, because I believe you did it. Bringing them to their knees while an artificial island is being built up so you can have a military outpost in the uh, South uh, West Pacific. That's kind of my take on it. Or from what I understood on that comment I got, or reply I got from a Jason A cha channel. So he too have an idea of something right here. And something is definitely not right. And this thing flying next to the streak on the right side is flying at a very high speed. Very high speed. And there it goes. And then again get to see it, that object is diving into the ocean just before it happens. It disappears. You see, that's a wake in the ocean. And that goes away. So the narcissist psychopaths was filming their own little mission can go home and learn from it. What can we do better next time? I mean, it doesn't really matter where the hell you put a nuclear bomb down, you're creating some serious, serious problems. Even if we had, let's say, a regional, you see it there, it already shows up. That's the cruise missile. Or hypersonic missile. I don't know. And maybe that's, that one was located in the vicinity, knowing it's coming around now, getting ready to go impact. But let's say uh, an example, Pakistan and India decides to have a regional nuclear exchange. You do understand that the fallout from that 
would be radioactive dust in our atmosphere traveling around the entire planet. Half time of the radioactive material in a nuclear atomic bomb, not a hydrogen bomb, but an atomic bomb based on uranium-238, or is it 237? Never mind. That's not important. Um, it will create a nuclear winter. It will affect the entire planet. Just those two numbnuts down there, over there in Asia, decides to get on with it, will have serious negative consequences for the entire world in a matter of weeks. People would die from radiation sickness even here in the United States because of that stuff in the air coming down with the rain. Plus, it will block out the sunlight, crop failure, cooling the planet, which, I know, there's some psychopaths out there that think we should cool the planet and alongside with that, kill off a lot of people. Bill Gates is one of them. Uh, he's definitely the biggest sponsor in genocide, I would say. He loves it. He's a serial killer. And he's walking free. So is Alec Baldwin. He's walking free for negligent uh, manslaughter. But this police officer who grabbed her gun instead of her taser and killed a guy who had a warrant for his arrest and refused a resisting arrest, unfortunately, she uh, shot and killed him. And now she's looking to go away for at least 20 years. Alec Baldwin, he's just running around doing talk shows, fake crying on TV. That's the kind of world we're living in, where scumbags walk free, and good people die, or have their lives destroyed. You know, Antifa and Black Lives Matter think that George Floyd is some sort of hero. He was nothing but a scumbag career criminal, but he shouldn't have been uh, killed like he did. He should have served sentence. He shouldn't have been killed. That's wrong. But I don't mean you can burn down cities and stores and stuff like that just because you were displeased with something. Who the hell do you think you are? But no respect for anybody's uh, uh, private property. Well, I can just say, come to Texas and try that shit out. See how it goes. You can come down, all of you. You leave feet first. You will be fed to the coyotes here. I ain't gonna put up with that. Count on it. There will be vigilance right there. We are going to take matters in our own hands. We're not gonna be like pussies like they are over in Oregon. Oh no, they got another thing coming if they come around here and think they're going to burn businesses down, looting. They're going to be shot like the dogs they are. But it is what it is. I mean, seen from a scriptural standpoint, being a believer, I, I, I see what's going on. This is uh, uh, people in perplexity. Right? There will be wars and rumors of wars. And there will be stuff like this going on. So the only thing I can say to, to this unfortunate uh, happening here, that is get your house in order. You know the, uh, the ABC, right? The A stands for admitting that you are a sinner. The B is believing in Jesus Christ and see, call upon Jesus and you shall be saved. Do that with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. You're going home when you die. Going home.
So let's just run that for the last time. This one. Right there. Mushroom cloud. And let's just go over here and take this one. Where you can clearly see it. Missile coming in. Boom. And it has an S code here. Submerging just prior, right there, and it's gone in the water. So I have to say, over and out, God bless you. And hey, everyone, you come across anything that is just as damning as this, show me. Send me the link. Show me. I'm all ears, I'm all eyes, I'm looking at it, so are you, God bless you.